Welcome back to Naked or No. We're going to roll through the Lords of the Warriors of Chaos and the Heroes and decide which items and or abilities you should take. If you disagree, that's fine, dude. These are just my opinions. And also, my hair is all fucked up because of the previous episode I was wearing my spooky, spooky vampire count's hood and uh, my hair didn't like that. So, deal with it. Mm, fight me. Mm -mm. Alright, here we go. Chaos Lord sucks. I've tried to make him work. He doesn't. Probably don't want him on his Chaos Steed, maybe on his Manticore, most likely on his Chaos Dragon if you take him. Uh, Foe Seeker, Deadly Onslaught, Standard Eye are all good because he's a Combat Lord, he's not a caster, so probably want him to be good at the combat he's doing. Uh, Pendant of Slanesh is actually good. 25% speed, 40 melee attack, that's good. Filth Mace sucks. So, it's 30% base weapon damage, which on his Dragon he has more armor piercing, so that doesn't give you very much. Can cause terror which his dragon raid does, and poison. So po you pretty much only get poison out of that. Now if you're on his manticore, sure you get more base weapon damage, so that's fine, but you still cause terror. It's the only time this is good if he's on his chaos deed, which just isn't worth it. So don't take that. Prince Sigwald the Magnificent. Uh, recently I've stopped taking heroic killing blow. It's expensive, and sure he gets a lot out of it, but you can't pick your engagements as him, so it's tricky. But sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. That's up to you. I would take Standard Eye and I would take Slippery. Um, they give him melee defense, they give him leadership, and this whole point is not taking damage and not breaking. Arc Armor is super good. If you're taking Sigvald, you 100% are taking this because it's regen and under Rasa doesn't have healing. Chaos Sorcerer Lords of Death Through Shadows. I'm not going to cover the spells, so I'll just do them all at once. Probably again want them on their Dragon, maybe on their Manticore. Or cheap on their Chaos Steed. Probably not the Barded Chaos Steed. Uh, Manticore or Chaos Dragon if you're using them as a pseudo melee lord. If you literally just want a cheap Caster Lord, definitely on a horse. I would always take Evasion. Uh, melee Defense and Speed on your Lord who you're trying to keep alive is good. Arcade Conduit, excellent. Take it. Blast is standard. Don't take that. That sucks. Sword of Anti-Heroes. Maybe take that if you're in Dragon. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Archaeon, the Ever Chosen, almost always take him on Dorger. Kindle Flame is very good, considering he's going to be your caster, he's going to do fire, so almost always take, actually, always take Kindle Flame. Foe Seeker is good for helping him get away or find his target. Standard Eye is excellent for making him a bruiser of the melee combatant. I am of two minds about the Crown of Domination. Um, the Immune to Psychology is useful for his homies, not for him, so it's like if you're rolling with a Death Ball of Chosen or something, maybe this is good, but. Only for leadership? I don't know. I would usually cut it, save the 180 gold. Because it's a lot of gold. Slayer Kings, probably take it. Uh, it gives him 75% uh, damage increase, and you can really mess somebody up with that. So, he is. Archaeon's good. Colex Sun Eater. Don't, don't see him a lot these days, but he can, in some situations, find an enemy large combatant and beat the absolute shit out of him. I would take Foe Seeker to help him find his fight. Standard die to keep him in that fight and tanky. Lord of the Storm. I could see people not taking it, so that one's situational, but if you, there's going to be some elite infantry, you can bombard with it. It's okay. Otherwise, it doesn't do that much damage. Starcrusher's pretty good. 50% armor piercing damage increase when he's mostly armor piercing damage. So that's a 200 weapon damage increase. Um, probably do that. Again, only if you're taking him to fight a big monster, but if you're fighting a big monster, you want to, you know, kill it. So Thoriel's probably the best lord on the roster right now. He's super good at this point in the meta, with the Silence and the Fury. Uh, he can push through most things. He's unbreakable. Very, very good lord. Uh, metal Shifting, you only want it if you're not just... If you're taking just Final Transmutation, don't take Metal Shifting. Otherwise, Metal Shifting is pretty good. Um... Arm piercing damage and stuff, but it only works well if you're spamming spells, so don't do it with just final trans. Archicondo is excellent, standard is excellent. Uh, though I could see an argument to take it off Sarthoreal because he's unbreakable, but his melee defense of 40 kind of sucks, so standard I can bring him up to a decent amount. Uh, Scroll of Power. I wouldn't take it. It gives a miscast chance, though he does have good magic resist, but taking damage for 60 second ability recharge isn't usually worth it. So I wouldn't. Scroll Bleaching Sex. Don't take it. Exalted Hero. I have been seeing Pop Palpatine take them on a Chaos Steed recently, but either that or their Manticore. Almost never on foot. Uh, Foe Seeker. Probably only if they're on their Man Manticore. Deadly Onslaught. Probably just cut it and save the money. That's pretty expensive for an okay combatant. Mark of Corn. 
The ITP is good if you're not on your Manticore. The base weapon damage and 8 melee attack is always good. Uh, it's only 77 gold, so I'd probably take it if you have the money. Hellfire Sword I would only take if you need fire damage specifically, like if you're planning on fighting a Hell Pit Abomination or something that has fire weakness. Otherwise, the 150 gold for 25% damage increase isn't worth it. You know, not, it's not permanent. Um, all the sorcerers we will go through at the same time, it's just different lords of magic. Usually I see them on their manticores as kind of a pseudo-combat caster, but otherwise they're chaos seeds to get them out of danger, or on foot to keep them cheap. Evasion. I would take it on their manticores or their horses, not on foot as much. Because they're not your lord, so if they die you don't lose an army line buff thing. Spells, take whatever you want in your own lore. Scroll shielding I would take. Forbidden Rod I wouldn't take, because unlike the Vampire Counts, damage to self matters, unless you maybe have a have them. The only situation I see it is on foot, and then you keep them in the very far back, permanently out of danger, and then you could take it. But personally, I think it's risky to cause damage to somebody who can't heal, and has a small health pool. Alright, let's chaos.